early game, he was my lord and savior. Let's mod him. Welcome back, guys, to Fort Worth. We're back with Ram Bam. We're going to do some more Jedi. It is Jolly Bindo time. So let's go ahead and get this in here. This is a very misunderstood character, in my opinion. There are... you. If you read the kit at all, you really can't screw it up. But I think there's a few key areas. And I know I actually saw a video with Zareth pointed this out as well. So credits to him too for uh, getting it right. But let's go ahead and get started. Basic ability. Deal physical damage to target enemy. Recover 30% health. If this attack deals any damage, reduce the cooldowns of Jolie's other abilities. Keep that in mind, guys. It doesn't get probably doesn't get used enough, to be honest. He is a support character basically there for the heals and the revives. Uh, uh, eh, you do it. Probably said it wrong. Another target ally assist. Heal that ally for 30% of Jolie's max health. Seeing a key with this is our this is the start of health modding. And all their uh Jedi allies recover half that amount. So look at that, guys. Heal that ally for 30% of Jolie's maximum health. This is a clutch ability when it's coming to really getting a huge heal. Daka has something similar where the more health they have, the more they're gonna heal up the uh ally character. Uh, dispel all debuffs on target ally and recover 40% health. Then revive all defeated Jedi allies at 80% health and grant those allies crit immunity for five turns. Obviously, this is the guy. This is the guy that saves the day. He was my first Zeta on my baby account, and it did wonders, especially back in the day when you had to worry about Galactic War. And Ram, the fact that you can not just one, but all Jedi... I've had him standing there by himself and save the day. This is why I make him thick, and this is why he gets his Zeta. First thing foremost, in my opinion, on the Jedi team. And I've had this discussion with many people. What do you think about that, Ram? Uh, yeah, no, he's... This guy is the reason why, when you, when you hear veteran players talking about the JKR meta and how much of a mind-numbing experience and just... We hated life during those squattering the days with JKR mirrors... This guy was why, because you would get through the entire team or you'd get close to taking him out and he'd heal or he would revive. And it was just, it was atrocious. Um, so uh, the fa the thicker that this guy is, the, the more annoying. It, it's not really that he's the most amazing character out there. It's just annoying. He he's is, really annoying of a kid. I'm going to leave it with it. Uh, amazing. And speaking of that, this next ability reminds me of something I want to say to you, Ram. Don't interrupt me. Jolie has 100% plus 100% tenacity and is immune to turn meter reduction effects. In addition, at the start of battle, he gains bonus critical avoidance equal to half of his tenacity. This is misread very often. Read that again. He gains bonus critical avoidance equal to half of his tenacity. This is why when we get into this, I'm going to explain why I put good amount of tenacity on him. And then the last ability, experience and wisdom. Obviously, they're talking about me, right? Jolie has plus 30% max health. Yeah, go ahead. Shake your head, Ram. Jolie has plus 30% max health. Whenever you use an ability that targets an ally, he grants that ally protection up for two turns equal to 30% of his max health. This entire kit, guys, plain and simply reads health, health, health. He's given plus 30% max health. He's passing protection equal to 30% of his max health. This is raw health to this guy outside the exception of tenacity based on, on top of this kit. What do, you, what do you say, Ram? Oh, no, 100%. 100%. I mean, this guy's, uh, this guy's kit is, yeah, as long as he is the thickest guy on the team, it's going to make it a pain in the butt for anybody um, to, to go up against him, or it's going to make it a lot easier for you to take out uh, teams that generally deal high damage, like Grievous. Uh, a lot of times, uh, JKR is going to be the counter for Grievous. And so this allows them to uh, revive constantly under that team. So uh, definitely want to get him as thick and as tenacious as you possibly can. Uh, it only benefits the whole team if you do so. He's also fairly thick, too, the fact that his armor is running almost 50% and then on his base and then just under 40% on his resistance. But if you look at his mastery, again, for Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, mastery, you got to hit relic level for it to kick in. His kicks in with critical avoidance. Health, uh, health, 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 as we've been talking about, and resistance. So that's where he starts getting these bonuses. So here it says he's got 4.5% critical avoidance, but he gets that additional 
uh, on top of his kit as well. You'll see my guy, very little protection. I've only got 7,000 on him extra, but I got 21,000 extra health on him. And I gold modded him as well because he, to me, is the key to this team. He survives, you survive, plain and simple. So again, health, 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 because it stacks to the team. So to go through that, uh, actually, I'll show you guys from the top 100 guilds in the game. Let me pull that down. So looking at this, everybody, 50% of the community at the top end game is health, health, health. All the way across the board. The next one down is 21% health, health, tenacity. This is what I'm talking about. So these guys are getting it right as well. Uh, best triangle mod, health. Best cross was at 72%. Uh, best cross, 44%, followed by tenacity at 38%. So a lot of communities seeing that as well. Best circle mod, health. And then primary is going to be speed or, and I actually added this to my thing because I forgot about it, crit avoidance arrow could help as well. I would probably Ooh. use the crit avoidance arrow earlier game personally i don't know how you feel about that ram but uh i actually have a crit avoidance on mine do you so it, it, i guess it probably could be viable at, at late game too i guess i need a better explanation of that but why do you have one on yours um it, it just again it makes it makes it thicker for him to to really get through mm -hmm. um adds on to the crit avoidance obviously the tenacity i've got uh two tenacity sets and the health set on them so i actually go Kind of against the grind where you're recommending two health sets. I'm I'm doing one health set and I'm doing two tenacity sets um, for that increased crit avoidance. You're getting a t um, you're getting a ton off of yours. So to to do the math, right. he gains bonus critical avoidance equal to half of his tenacity. My guy right now has got 105 percent tenacity. So my guy's he, got 115. Yeah. So he's getting what 52 extra crit avoidance on top of that. So I'm getting with his kit 56 percent uh, crit avoidance. And I think there was something else in here if I remember. Oh no, that was the other guys when they they come back. So my guy's sitting at forty one percent crit of one right now, and that's not including the stuff in his kit. So, uh, I mean that, that we're approaching hundred percent crit yeah, avoidance right now. Exactly. So he pretty much cannot be crit, which means that teams that they crit a lot. I mean, uh, one of them is uh, the Geos. Geos cannot kill a Jolie that is modded the right way. It's just not going to happen. I've yeah. used them in the past to take down JKR teams, but they were poorly modded JKR <laughs> teams. So. You can see I've got two tenacity mods. I'll actually uh, sit through mine real quick. But uh, what's the speed on my guy? He's actually I see, 230. I see, that it, um, I see that a lot of people put uh, the speed arrow on him. Uh -huh. He's already an inherently slow character, but he, he does not, especially if you're running him with uh, with the JKR, you can swap turn meter over to him. So I don't get the feeling that he needs to be super, super fast. He just needs to be survivable and thick, hence why I put the, the crit avoidance on him. I kind of went against the grain, but it's worked out so far. I've been, I've, I've had this mod on him for a, a while, and my Jolie does wonders. I believe only at Relic Three, um, he does, he does wonders. One thing oh. I love about my Jolie too, the only offensive stat out of all my mods, I've got one crit chance percentage. All the rest are all survivability. I couldn't mm -hmm. ask for better mods on Jolie. Tenacity, defense, health, protection, everything is basically survivability or a defensive stat. So mm -hmm. um, outside of the speed, of course, but. Tenacity, stack, stack, stack. But guys, seriously, think about that. Tenacity on your Jolie, if you can get it even just through the secondaries, is going to help him avoid the crit avoidance. It's going, and that is an amazing survivability in his kit. Absolutely. Like I said, I, in my notes, you guys will see, it'll say try to find mods with fewer offensive stats. They're a bit of a waste on this guy. Speed minimum goal. What do you think, Ram? Um, Again, not not super critical nope. um because it, it, i mean you have to assume you're probably going to run this guy nine times out of ten you're going to run him under jkr so inherently you're going to get at about 30 speed on average yep, from jkr lead speed, yep. plus you're going to get the terminator plus you're going to get the um uh the bonuses from now that so maybe 210 220 Somewhere yep. in that range would be a, a good starting area. Obviously, speed is king. So if you have great mods and you can put down some better secondaries, sure. Absolutely, you could probably put them on, on him as well. Uh, but a lot of people don't have that range of those mods. And so uh, the most bang for your buck is less speed and more uh, survivability. His base stats. speed is 131. I think my guy was running 180 to 200 for the longest time. And because, like I said, I found some decent mods that had speed on him that only had survivability stats, I was able to get him to 230. If you can get mm -hmm. him to 210, 220, I'm with Ram. 
That is a, that is the perfect spot for him. If you can get him faster, obviously that's more healing, that's more revivability. But sure. I think there are better places for speed. I'm 100. percent What about the uh, Zeta priority? I already gave you mine. He was my first, and I regret it none. Um, if we are looking at a specifically a JKR team, then Zeta priority, yes, 100. percent This guy should probably be your first Zeta uh, on a JKR team. Mm-hmm. If we're talking the whole roster, it's it's hard to it's hard to justify him being the very first Zeta um, priority across your entire roster. Keep in mind and that JKR was my first decent team that I opened. Sure. Right. And yeah, it, it, uh, for a JKR team, there's an argument to be made for his Zeta because his Zeta makes the team right. for JKR's lead. Right. And there's an argument to be made for both of those both of those Zetas. Um, high priority on his, if not the highest priority well, let's for keep, JKR. Let's team. keep in mind, too, like the, my choices were when I first started out, it was a Bastard led team without a JKR. So I could afford and I was ready to get Zetas at what is it, seventy two mm-hmm. or whatever it is, uh, with the ship ability. So Joe Lee was the guy that kept everybody alive. So that's why I did him first. But you're talking beginning game. So that was my goal going in. I wanted Joe sure. Lee first. But I wanted the Jedi for the Galactic War because Bastila gets through the Galactic War with ease because she resets her protection every single round. So it's easy wipe every time. So that's the way I, way I did him. But I 100% We're in 2022. Get out of get out of 2017. Let's end it. It's still viable. Just because... All right, 85. You still got to do your Galactic Wars. Whatever. You got to get your credits. But yeah, guys, this, this guy... <laughs> yeah, this guy's an amazing character. Secondaries, I obviously recommend uh, health, 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 health. Any additional protection is fine. Uh, speed, I actually need to update my sheet for you guys when I edit this in. Uh, speed is okay, but not 100% necessary. Uh, defense and tenacity any extra tenacity you can put on him to get the crit avoidance is amazing anything to add ram uh for the the relic priorities uh i would i would say somewhere around an eight to a ten somewhere in that range uh, depending on where you're at in the in the stage of the game whether you're beginning or end game um obviously each relic level is going to add more health more mastery which adds more health and more tenacity and more crit avoidance and more everything to him. So uh, it, it, he has a very high priority of relic uh, of, of being taken to relics and taken uh, to high relics because of those capabilities. And again, once he survives, he can revive the whole team and stay all survive and you win. Once you start investing in your, uh, into your Jedi team, he is number one for me. So I have him listed as a 10 for priority. I'm actually going to, I'm going to stick by that just for the fact that to me, he's the first one that should go to relic, uh, because he can just keep bringing him back. If you can't kill him, you can't kill the rest. That's just my opinion. And that's, it worked for me. So I'm going to stick with it at a 10, even though he doesn't have a ship, but not until you start working on your Jedi team. Got to be, they got to be good. All right, Ram. I appreciate it, brother. One more video to go. We've got the master, the grandmaster himself, GMY coming up next. In the meantime, guys, you know where to find us over here and over there. And don't forget to hit that follow button. I appreciate you guys. In the meantime, we are one, one battalion strong. strong. Thanks, Ram. Shut up and sit down. Jolie, 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 Jolie. The fact fan. that he's an old man just makes him more like you. <laughs> Maybe that's because we got something in common. <laughs>